Hi again, so this will be a very brief talk on thyroid storm, which is a rare but life-threatening form of thyrotoxicosis. It is a uh, complication of any disease that causes hyperthyroidism. So uh, the symptoms are going to be, of course, hyperthyroid symptoms or a history of hyperthyroid symptoms such as heat intolerance, sweating, palpitations, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, weight loss, and increased appetite. A lot of times, though, the patient will not be able to tell you that because in addition to these symptoms, they're going to have altered mental status um, that could manifest in delirium, seizures, coma. Um, they can have hypertension early on, hypotension is a late manifestation of the disease. Uh, generally, they're going to be febrile and they may even be in shock. So what's going to be most important uh, to gather from these patients that you're considering thyroid storm is that they have a history of hyperthyroidism, a history of Graves' disease. So uh, what separates thyroid storm apart from just regular old hyperthyroidism, thyrotoxicosis, is that the patient has altered mental status and vital instability. The patient is hypotensive. The patient is delirious. The patient is seizing. Uh, that's going to separate it from just regular old hyperthyroidism. Now, anytime you have a patient with a history of Graves' disease, a history of uh, of, of thyroid disease, or even say a depressed patient that has uh, that has levothyroxine pills available, or a child that got into a bottle of levothyroxine pills, uh, then you're going to suspect uh, thyroid storm. So the diagnosis, uh, the best first step is going to be a TSH level, and the TSH level is generally going to be low, and your T3 and T4 levels are always going to be high. So as always, you should remember your ABCs. So if there's shock, you should be, the first step is to administer fluids. And the treatment for the thyroid storm, the best initial step is going to be IV propothiol uracil, PTU. And you're going to use PTU instead of uh, methimazole because PTU works quicker. And luckily, PTU is not contraindicated in uh, pregnant women, so we can use it in them as well. We should also give iodine. Iodine acutely stops uh, the uh, release of hormone, so something like Lugol solution or potassium iodide can be used, and that will acutely stop hormone release from the thyroid. You should treat their symptoms with an antiadrenergic such as propranolol. Uh, propranolol is generally the drug of choice. And then IV dexamethasone is also uh, given to uh, decrease peripheral conversion uh, of T4 to T3. But remember that the best initial step in the treatment of a patient where you suspect thyroid storm is IV PTU. And you really can't go wrong because if you have if you have altered mental status and you have high T3 and high T4, that's really really indicative of thyroid storm. And IV PTU is or PTU in general is going to be indicated in patients with Graves disease. So uh, that's generally a safe choice. Uh, you should also be providing supportive measures and that can be like cooling blankets. Uh, patients should have IV fluids going. Remember if they have shock, of course that's going to be your, your first first step, but uh, they should have IV fluids going anyways. Uh, you may have electrolyte abnormalities, so you'll wanna uh, control that as needed. A dextrose should be given in the case of hypoglycemia. You can use a, like a D50 amp would be uh, fine for that. Uh, you should always admit these patients to the ICU and workup for underlying cause should be undertaken. So uh, pan cultures, uh, like urinalysis, blood cultures, so forth, chest x-ray, uh, and then uh, at discharge, you should switch these patients off uh, to methimazole 
unless it's contraindicated, just because of the safety profile of methimazole. It's a little better than PTU. Um, remember, though, the patients you're not going to use methimazole in is children and pregnant women. Radioactive iodine ablation uh, should, or subtotal thyroidectomy is going to be indicated in all patients who have been diagnosed with thyroid storm. And remember that radioactive iodine ablation is the test of, or is the, the treatment of choice. However, subtotal thyroidectomy would be indicated again in children and in pregnant women. And that's pretty much it for thyroid storm.